heroism is just very simple. Anytime somebody uses courage when they're afraid, in the name of something good. It's stories about hope, about redemption. It's the same themes that have been underlying our folk tales since the beginning of time. Throughout history, there have been mythic characters that we told stories about. Superheroes are what they are now, and DC is the grand proscenium of superheroes. It is impossible to think about this in this way today, but back then, no one had ever seen anything quite like that. What well, if I could be a hero? Something tells us to fight for what's right. That's really the power. That's really being super. I don't think anybody thought we're going to turn this into the most profound discussion of race in the superhero media. It was the physical act of empowerment at the right cultural moment. There were comic book burnings across America. The code and the persecution of comics make the people who were producing the comics feel oppressed. It was a creative stranglehold. Women should not be featured in prominent roles. People were afraid. They really were. You would find an image and somehow map a ton of homosexual overtones to that. In the case of Wonder Woman, maybe not entirely untrue. When I first read Watchmen, it was a religious experience. All of us need to go back to being kids and believe that we can do the right thing. It's reflecting who we are today. Superheroes, supervillains, antiheroes. There is a DC character for every person in the world. We can't be stuck in the past. We have to take those characters and move them into the 21st century and go, well, what's cutting edge now? Comics are an incredible medium. You can tell impactful stories about anything. What you need is the courage to tell them.